Welcome, everyone. This is the second of two uh, of our debut for Beer Money Roundtable. I have with me AJ from the Beer Money Network, owner of the Beer Money Network and the Beer Money Network YouTube channel, um, Atlas Earth minigame legend, Tasty Wallet, uh, and also has not missed a single one of these roundtables, including the Beer Money Mania stuff up to this point. <laughs> the only one to do so. And also, uh, Twitch honor. <laughs> and Twitch streamer uh, DJ Guardian. Hello, Thanks everyone. <laughs> oh. Great to have, great to have you again. By the way, DJ. Thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get to the second one, which was the original topic that I was planning on for the first beer money round table before the bridge money thing happened and that was about atlas earth and the parcel upgrade and tasty uh you had a lot actually you've done a lot of math regarding this so do you want me to go through this or do you want to talk about what's going on with this one because i have oh uh, you could start okay because i had not had that much time to go through the math of it but basically a new feature is going to come out that's going to be rather game changing to optimal strategy guides and beginner strategy guides and any guys involving Atlas Earth all over. And that is the parcel upgrade. So apparently they're starting a new feature. If they have not already by the time I have put this out, it's going to be some time. It should be like the, uh, you know, the 18th or 20th or something like that. <laughs> you'll know when it's you'll know when I put it up. You know, is that I do before or after landmarks. That's what I need to know. <laughs> but uh, but it's Probably going before. But the, for a particular cost, uh, you will get to uh, upgrade any parcel to Legendary. Now, we're not quite sure how that works as of the time of this recording. We don't know if it's going to be a different cost, if the parcel is common, rare, or epic, or if you possibly could mistakenly uh, upgrade your Legendary to a Legendary. But uh, <laughs> for for 5,000 Atlas bucks or something. <laughs> but, uh, but we have some math from Tasty. Uh, where he's actually talked about like how it looks, and we're gonna have some reactions on that. So, Tasty, go ahead. All right, I'm gonna try to um, give you like a high level summary of of what I think about all this. These are not certainties or anything like that. These are just kind of some summary math that I did. Uh, I've got a post on it on Reddit. I don't know if you had a chance to read it, um, but I I I gave, I, I um, laid out a, a pretty lengthy post on on my predictions on upgrades and there's a couple of other thoughts i have as well that i could talk about um but to go through this reddit post that i made um i had assumed 24 hour boosting 64 hours srb super rent boost per month which is at the fixed fifty of x level i looked at united states only i did not look at international because i wanted to keep this as simple as possible uh, i did not include badges because badges don't really make any sort of difference in my mind in terms of, you know, this, this sort of stuff because it, it applies to everything. And so it just ends up equalizing all the math anyway. So I didn't include any of the badges. Um, so I, in this post, uh, I had initially said that I don't think that sub 150 and which would be sub 60 for international, as well as those people at the two X level, I don't think that it's going to be worth doing. And I say that because uh, at this particular level, you're just starting when you're, you know, you're sub 60, sub 150 um, level. You're just trying to buy a couple of parcels. You're just trying to get to the maximum of the 30x tier. And um, Mon Mac said that this was going to be expensive, right? So if you're adding a parcel, um, based on Matt's Atlas Earth calculator, um, I had just put one comment in. And then I did one rare and one epic and one legendary and found out that um, under those assumptions that I had talked about, uh, you're going to be getting about nine cents a month just for a common. Uh, there is about 13 cents a month for a rare, about 18 for an epic, about, you know, 30, close to 36, 37 yep. for a legendary. Um, so partial upgrades, you know, at that point, it's going to be very um Expensive, as Mom Max said, and I don't. I just don't think it's going to be worth doing at that level, and probably also at the 2x level as well, because of how fixed everything is. There's no, there's no wall that you have to try to um, 
you know, break through. By the wall, I'm talking about the, the tier structure. You're going from 150 to 220 and 220 to 290. Uh, those are, most of you are listening have um, probably seen that chart already. So, you've, um, But if you haven't, then, you know, go check out the, the boost chart uh, for yourself. Um, I did the preliminary math at the 150 to 220 level, and I discovered that uh, based on what I had said about the common being about nine cents, about the legendary being about 36 cents, uh, upgrading a common is going to be about 27 cent increase, which if you were to get from 150 to 220 is, is, is you know, around 90 cents or something like that. So we're talking about a third. So I'm expecting the cost to be about a third of the amount of AB that it takes to get from 150 to 220, which is 7,000. So we're looking about, I don't know, 2,000, 2,500, 3,000 AB um, to upgrade a common to, um, to a legendary. Um, that's my prediction. We'll see what they actually do. If it's going to be something that is, um, if it's going to be a fixed value or if it's going to be... Um, variable depending upon where you're at in the boost chart um i also looked at 220 to 290 and noticed a couple of interesting things first of all those numbers um they do go down per parcel which makes sense because right the boost numbers go down as you're going down the tier chart you know you're going from 30 to 20 and 20 to 15 15 to 12 12 to 10 etc cetera, etc cetera. so you expect those per parcel values to go down, which means that the amount of money that you're going to be increasing by upgrading a parcel is also going to be lowered, which is why I was saying, well, you know, maybe they will do something where the upgrade cost could have um, some sort of, uh, you know, variable feature, depending on where. So we'll, we'll see what they do with that. It'll be really interesting. Um, one thing that I did notice, and, and this is something what I called the catch, uh, is that like I said, you know, those numbers are going to go down as uh, as you go down the chart, which which tells me that if you were to start upgrading, if you were to start going down this path, um, I think what's going to happen is that um, I'm losing my words here. Uh, I think what's going to happen is that you have this wall that I talked about, right? The tier chart going from 150 to 220, 220 to 290. When you start upgrading parcels, and I confirm this by looking at some, some numbers on math calculator, I put 150 legendaries in there, and then I put 150 legendaries plus 70, you know, rares, which is pretty much representative of random parcels. And I noticed that the value went down, which is very interesting, which tells me that if you're going to start to upgrading path what's probably going to happen is that it's going to be much more expensive to try to overcome that tier chart so um which leads me to think that you know should i upgrade or not and i think part of that a lot of that is going to depend upon uh Short term versus long term. Do you want to have an end goal versus do you want to try to do this forever? And I think that's really going to be the biggest thing that I think part yeah. into, as well as the the cost of um, of Atlas or Atlas Bucks in order to do upgrades. I think those two are going to be the biggest factors. Um, and that's that's essentially uh, what I've written in that post. Yeah. Um. I did. I think I did do. Uh check of if you decided to have the end the short end game and have 150 legendaries and go for 150 legendaries that the amount that you'd make a day is still pretty good right it's like two bucks a day roughly that's about 55 a month not including badges yeah yeah that's not too um, bad the, that's more than that the equivalent of that the equivalent of that in, in the 2x um because i i did look into that mm -hmm. um in the 2x level you have to get 2,150 parcels, random parcels, to be able to get the same amount of money. That's a, uh, that's quite a bit actually. <laughs> no, that, that that's pretty good. Um, but uh, so ha so um so I think the fair cost basically then of if I'm just running this through my head, 2,150 parcels, that's 215,000 parcels. Um, and you are trying to upgrade your 150. Let's assume like that, like eight of them are legendary. That's the expected value average. That's 142. If you divided that, then wouldn't the fair cost of a upgrade to legendary is like 
fifteen hundred or so, or is it fifteen hundred right in my head? About that much, fifteen hundred. Um, I I think it was two hundred thousand total AB. Two hundred thousand total AB. Yeah. Yep. Oh, two hundred thousand total AB is the fair cost for one hundred fifty legendaries. Well, yes, to get to get all, of, uh, you know, a random distribution of partials, mm -hmm. seventy five common, forty five uh, rare, I think twenty two, twenty three epic. Um, and I am expecting to see um, smaller costs if you're going from say a rare to a legendary versus. You know, uh, an epic to a legendary, and common's going to be the most expensive, I think. AJ, DJ, uh, your thoughts? <laughs> I just realized AC. I'll let DJ go first. Okay. Uh, well, with regards to <laughs> the parcels and the way they are allocated, like when you buy a parcel of land, I've noticed that the, the ratio. I've noticed that the ratio of legendary has seems to have gone down, almost nerfed in some ways. I have bought 40 parcels without a legendary. And so I remember reading some posts about people who got them much sooner than that. So are they doing that because of this new method that they're uh implementing that they're no, not no. having them as often just, just last night i bought 52 parcels and i got six legendary last night there are okay. some uh, there are some videos although i i i think that it's unproven there's some videos that talk about like no, methods where you get no rarities problem. rarities a little no. bit more yeah i i actually That's i actually all. even went on like to the ballpark and checked like okay uh, i did some of the methods and none of them worked so so it it, it's all. Oh, it, you mean like if you no. buy uh, a parcel of land next to a road? <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's next to a road or just mine. I remember that one video of yours where you, ball. yeah, yeah. Remember when you were at the ballpark and you yeah. were like, okay, well, I'm gonna buy this here and see if I can, you know. And then you mentioned <laughs> yeah. the roads, and I actually tried that method, Farrell. <laughs> I actually did try that. I think it worked uh, as far as rare and epics go. But I, I still haven't gotten a legendary. There so, was another, I mean, I'm still. There was a another guy that said, "Move like know. a knight in chess, and you'd be able to get like epics and legendaries easier that way." And that didn't work either. Uh, there, there were. There's a couple <laughs> others. There's a couple other YouTube channels out there that I've been seeing that talk about like skipping, uh, skipping squares in order to get uh, legendaries. Or math oh, really? work like that. Math Ooh, I didn't hear that one. Like that. <laughs> there's also the battleship method where it's like if you hit like an epic or a legendary, then you'll get a bunch of rares and epics and legendaries. That one is actually okay. So that one is actually sort of like I have well, you've seen had a fifty percent chance on any particular tile of getting a common versus getting a a, a uh, rare or higher. But I have had I've had had more. I would say more than if my it's... share of like three, four, five parcel lands where it's just like rare epic rare legendary rare epic rare or something like that i have had that before the percent chance on each tile to get a common versus not common so you think it's like completely randomized yes 100 percent. like like, like they have like preset uh one, that, that they uh, haven't preset it no okay no. one thing i've noticed about not just about Atlas Earth, but but when it comes to games of chance in general, yeah, is that luck? Um, not that I believe in luck; I believe in determinism when it comes to to all this stuff. Um, so um, I'm very deterministic when it comes to that sort of thing. So, uh, what I believe in is that, um, at least in my experience, and I've talked with a whole bunch of people, other people, and they've had the same experience, is that luck tends to run its streak. So you tend to get a whole bunch of common, and then you get a whole bunch of rare plus, and then you get a whole bunch of common, and, and you know uh, it goes a little bit back and forth, but it's it usually things just tend to run its streak. Actually, I did notice some of that, like a pattern similar to that. I did. Um, I, I noticed that when uh, I get commons, uh, almost immediately after, I get rares. Uh, each time lately, uh, the last several times I bought parcels, as a matter of fact, I had like two to three comments, and then I had a rare, and uh, then I had uh, one or two comments, and then I had another rare. 
So <laughs> lately I've been getting only commons or rares, which is interesting. No epics. And again, you guys know that I'm not getting in legendary, but uh, rares seem to be as common as common parcels lately, for, at least for me. Uh, yeah, they have been for me uh, as well. Just, they have been for me. Hey, Shane. I, just, I didn't know if it was <laughs> that way for you as well. Shane just uh, Shane Hello. just joined the chat. Hi. Well, <clears throat> I don't the know if he has mic on or whatever. But but let me, let me jump in here, like to to go back to the original question here of like I, I do think that it's going to be different costs from going from like a common to a rare to an epic to a legendary. I think each tier is definitely going to be. Well, it's probably going to be tiered. It's probably going to be a four to yeah. one, two to one, you know, type of thing, right? Um, whatever they think that math is, right? Um, <clears throat> what is not being said is is in all this math, right? If if we're saying people like from like one hundred and fifty to like two hundred and twenty, maybe should think about maybe doing the upgrade if if the perceived math comes out, it means they have to know exactly where every single parcel is that they bought and upgrade them, right? For most people that are in these tier levels have no idea where all their parcels are at, right? And and second, and here's my, here's the thing that's going unsaid is, is we don't know what each and every one of our parcels rarity currently is in that location, right? We don't know. If we're sitting around and have our area, we don't know what the rarity of those parcels are. We can kind of guess by the shrubbery that's on it. Um, so that means that if they're doing this upgrade process, it means they are going to be telling us a way of knowing what our rarities are, finally. That, to me, is the big win here. Well, that's if it's not a fixed cost. Oh, it's not going to be a fixed cost. It can't be a fixed cost. It could. It could. It's it's not going to. No, it's not it going to be a be. fixed cost. I, be. I would be very surprised if it was a fixed cost. Th that math doesn't work out. The math doesn't work out, but I'm just saying that there's a chance that it could just be, hey, it's just 1,000 Atlas bucks. You can upgrade any parcel to a legendary. So I, yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> but it, but like <laughs> ideally, I, ideally, I would I would look at like, okay, what's the cost of Epic to legendary and then work my way there where i'd have a rare to legendary and then a common to legendary cost but again that means they have to tell us that this parcel that we have bought right here is an epic right right or this one's already a legendary you cannot upgrade this one anymore right but how are so they going that to me is a worthwhile thing that means we're getting a whole new release update for this because it's got to handle this but here's what I don't understand is like we already have the option where it's like if you if it's a blank parcel then you buy, if you already own the parcel then you sell. How are how is the upgrade? Oh, I guess the upgrade will work by just. It's going like to be instead of sell, maybe it's an option to upgrade instead of sell, but like a tab right? to It'll seller be a, upgrade. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I was. That's yeah, not a big deal to me. Well, with a well with a giant screen like that, I can't really tell. Sometimes they might have to put a tab or something. But uh, uh, Shane, I uh, I'm just checking to see if Shane's here. So want to make sure. Oh, he's on. He, yeah. He's on mute. It just right closes now. icon on there. Anything can happen at Beer Money Round Table. <laughs> so, yeah, we've been trying to get Shane in for this one too, but it looks like his microphone is on mute. So, uh, yeah, trying to get Shane on there as well as sort of a surprise guest. Uh, he came in and. It looks like uh, had uh, mic issues there, so uh, that's fine. Uh, we'll we'll wrap this up. Uh, we'll wrap this up. It'll be it's kind of rather short for this one anyway. Uh, talking about the Atlas Earth uh, stuff. Any final thoughts on this? Um, I'm more interested in what's unsaid that'll be coming with this update than the you know parcel uh, upgrade, since uh, me and Tacey are well past the. Uh, <laughs> the point of no return in the 2x land yeah. right so uh this doesn't really do much for for people that are higher up yeah and i'm and i'm sitting at 3x right now making my way towards you guys and uh yeah so this benefits the lower level lower tiered people yeah so i yeah yes yeah, so i know dj is actually still on the 30x tier i believe right so yeah i'm still a baby yeah so the early game players, the early game players. So we have one early game, one mid game, and two late games here playing. At uh, least you get different, you know, uh, you know, 
perspective. How would yeah. you want to say different viewpoints? Yeah. Uh, you know, from a beginner standpoint. Yeah. So you know? I'd like to point out that uh, you know uh, Pharaoh was uh, brought in early along. He uh, he took a little break. That's why he's behind. Yeah, I took a break, but we will talk about that in a future round table. That's a whole new video. <laughs> I promised I promised that I will do that probably by the time uh, the summer ends. I will talk about my experiences with that particular game. <laughs> uh, and I oh, by the way, I just I, I just wanted to say one thing. Uh yes. Pharaoh, thank you for uh showing me this app. Um yeah. I found it through your videos on your channel. So oh, um, no problem. No was, problem. Very cool. And yeah, yeah, and that's how I, you know, uh found the Beer Money Network. So Guys, it's a great network. Uh, check it out. Definitely, definitely will help you. Okay, so uh, in the long run. So, so I think this final. Uh, uh, I do want to get to Tasty, and they got one more question for DJ after that, and then we'll call, and then we'll wrap it up. So, Tasty, uh, your final thoughts. Um, I'm really going to be looking for a whole bunch of these Reddit posts where people do parcel upgrades, not realizing what it is or doing any research on it, because we all know that there are people out there who just do stuff and they don't think about things. They don't do things. You know, they don't. Why did my boost suddenly my drop? <laughs> I, I mean, I'm just saying that it happens all. There's so yeah. many Reddit posts on there about people. I, I have 151 parcels and I don't understand how I got from 30X to 20X. I know it's like, oh, you don't do any research first. Mm -hmm. I guess not. But no. no, I'm I'm expecting to see a lot of people doing parcel upgrades, not realizing that by doing that, they're going to be making it a lot more difficult for them to do these tier upgrades, and then they're going to start getting from 150 to 220, wondering why their rent's going down. That's going to happen, and it's going to be yeah. interesting to see how often that happens. But as an okay, so DJ, as an early game player, since you're the only early game player here, for for uh, for the three of us, this is mostly much ado about mm -hmm. nothing. Um, I might use it to yeah. increase my percentile on the my Z score. Maybe we'll see. But for you, this is definitely most effective to you. Which path would you take now once you hit 150 parcels? Are you going to take the path where you're going to go all legendaries and just basically stop, or do you want to keep going and join us over at the end game? I'm basically in the middle on that okay, because so of all these changes. Yet. Okay. I need to kind of feel through all these changes and updates before I can answer that question. That is fair. That is very fair. Um, so because you can see when you go to the app that they have landmarks coming in. When is that going to be? Uh, you know, and then they just had, uh, they just added a whole bunch of new people. They added the United Kingdom, they added Australia, they added Canada. I know those, yeah. those are huge updates. I mean, everything is changing and pretty rapidly. So it's really hard to say right now, but I would say that, you know, I'm kind of in the middle, right? Now. See how things pan out. That is, that, that well, is there's also, fair. there's also those titles that those coveted titles that people are going after mayorship, governorship, um, not probably not the president, unless you're going to be dropping a hundred thousand plus dollars. If I won, the, <laughs> if I won the lottery, exactly. If I won the lottery, <laughs> well, you, this is a message to then, stealth. You, this is a message to stealth. You, if even, I won the lottery, you got two months, buddy. <laughs> even if you won the lottery, you may not do that because you know the math. So I don't. Maybe <laughs> some part of you might possibly do this, but but I'm. Just, well, I'm a I mean, mayor. It's, of town, so. it's it's certainly something we're thinking about. You know, do you want these titles or not? So to me, it's too early in the game for parcel upgrades, right? Parcel upgrades matter when there's land scarcity. There's not land scarcity yet, right? It, it, if you want to have ways for people to invest in the game still, and there's just not as much land around to buy, then you talk about upgrading the land that you have. It's too early in the game. You need to have less land available. Because right now, like, I mean, as you're saying with the math, the math clearly says buy parcels, buy parcels, yeah, buy parcels, get more land. Yeah. The, oh, well, we haven't even mentioned the Explorers Club. You know, how is all that going to factor in? The I average mean, place. Eventually, it's going to change the value of the Atlas buck as well. 
because right now, you know, it's about five cents per Atlas buck. So how is yeah. that going to change? How's the value going to change? Eh, the value has already kind of devalued to like two at this point. Honestly. Well, there you go. I mean, every time they change something and this, you know, is going to change how everything is upgraded and when this is upgraded and when should you upgrade as being a new player. Some yeah. of this is going a little over my head, to be honest. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, as, you know, a, a seasoned player... <laughs> You know, Try if you guys, you know, aren't 100% sure what you want to do, then I'm, I'm definitely in the woods because I, I still uh, am learning some of the basics. I, I'm going to be honest on that. So I'm not the best person to ask as far as, you know, the seasoned players have, have, you know, better responses. But as far as looking at it from the view of a person just starting out, it's very confusing, all of these things going on. Well, and it does take the time to learn. You got to study. You got to learn. You got to look at the calculator and all that other stuff in order to really understand what you should do. And then you know, and and Pharaoh mentioned the the free to play, the pay to play, and then somewhere in the middle. I know, and that's kind of where I was thinking of, you know, being in the middle. And I didn't know if I should get the Explorers Club or wait. You know, I'm still not sure. As was alluded to earlier, I think. The confusion is actually banked upon by um, by AE. Like they they kind of want you to make these mistakes. Um, so I think all of this confusion is is expected. So don't worry. That's why we're here. We're here to help you kind of wade through that all yep. and try and make the best decision, right? Like if you ever have questions, right? Anybody out there is listening, please come to the Discord server. Ask any one of us. We will give you our honest opinion. And we have no benefit, right? Right now, Atlas Earth is more or less a zero-sum game. I don't need to win. I don't need you to lose for me to win. We can both win, right? Especially if we're geographically dispersed, right? Yeah. There's no reason why we can't both do very well here. Um, so I'll give you an honest answer. and Any one of us will. Except yeah. for me, because I benefit when a whole bunch of people play the minigames. I want to be pushing the mini games so I can get more, more atlas. Power. I've seen you first and he third almost every game. time. Yeah, he's yeah, he, not going to be not in golf, not in golf. <laughs> you're not going to see me on the podium in golf. You'll see me on the po <laughs> well. You'll see me on the podium in golf if they ever fix that that freeze thing that they have been starting to do on the uh, mini games. That was in warship too. It was awful. It wasn't as bad in Warship, but it not not nearly as bad. Well, yeah. except for there was three times I got Arn, and there was oh, oh I got a whole bunch of time. Three times I froze. Yeah. All right, so that is it, everybody. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, don't forget to like this video, uh, comment your comments on this as well, because there isn't really much else to say until it's actually implemented. So I'm just kind of a wait and see myself. So if you are wait and see as well, just put it on the comment section or let us know what you think. Uh, if you want to see more of these roundtables, I got some, I, I got, okay, I got one idea. I'm just going to let this out here. Uh, sometime down the road, I want to do a debate because a lot, of, a lot of people have been asking for this, a debate between Atlas Earth and Upland. And I'm getting the initial stages for that set up. Um, AJ is sitting there and you're like, no one's asking for this. I'm like, oh, you'd be surprised, buddy. You'd be surprised. No, I know the people asking for it. Yes. That's the problem. <laughs> okay, so we we will have that. I don't know when that's mm -hmm. going to be. Um, uh, and so we'll probably... Uh, I'm, I'm actually talking with a couple of my uh, ex-Upland mates right now over that down the line. So we will see then. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to Beer Money Engine. I am also linking everyone's links to the description as well. That is... Uh, the Beer Money Network Discord, Tasty Wallace YouTube channel. Uh, I will also add on uh, Shane's YouTube channel that he does for his uh, baseball as well, even though he was trying to be here today. So I'll add that as well. AJ's YouTube channel and, of course, DJ Guardian's Twitch server. Uh, that is it, everybody. I will see you all next time. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye.